Hey guys, Spine a Dude here and welcome back to another video. Today guys, we're going to be taking a look at another brand new 2018 Safari LTD figure for the hashtag Hawaii Safari campaign. So let's have our co-host Marvin bring it out. Thank you Marvin. So today guys, we're going to be taking a look at this. It is the brand new 2018 Safari LTD Macrocania. I want to send a big thank you out to Safari LTD for making this review possible and sending this figure out to the channel today. I cannot wait to take a closer look at it, so without further ado guys, let's dive straight into the review. Before we take a closer look at the figure, here are a few quick facts about Macrocania itself. Macrocania pataconica means long llama. It was a prehistoric mammal from the Cenozoic era of what is now South America. When it comes to prehistoric mammals, Macrocania is certainly one of the strangest, appearing to be an odd cross of a camel, a giraffe, and a tapir. It is thought to have been an opportunistic herbivore, browsing and grazing on both plants and grasses. Macrocania was one of, if not the last, of the lighter turn mammals and was most likely a target for prehistoric South America's carnivorous forest racket terror birds, such as Kalenkin and forest rockos. So without further ado guys, let's start taking a closer look at this very unique prehistoric mammal. Alrighty guys, so here is the brand new 2018 Safari LTD Macrokenia. And for first impressions, this one looks very naturalistic. I like the colors they went for here, especially. Uh, there are a few small issues with the paint application especially, which I'm going to touch on later on in the video. But first of all, Macrocania is one of the more popular prehistoric mammals. We see it quite a bit. But off the top of my head, this is the only figure I can think of that's been made of Macrocania. You guys can let me know of any others in the comment section that I might be missing. Yeah, but it is a pretty popular prehistoric creature and I'm just surprised that you don't really see too many figurines or models of it out there. All right, so first of all, the detail on the sculpt is very nicely done. You can see the fur on the body is all sculpted out there. I like the natural flow of the fur, uh, especially transitioning going down the legs and such. And the legs have very nice toned musculature, as you can see. I have to say on the body, I'm not sure if it's showing up on the camera. I'll have to see in the editing process of this video. But there is this weird color that's dry brushed on the body. Well, it's not really weird, but it's just the way they've applied it is a little bit odd. It's like this peach color almost, and you can see it especially on the neck here. Yeah, definitely. And between the face and the neck, you can see this really odd transition, in my opinion, between this dry brush peach color and just the regular base color, like the orangey chestnut brown for the rest of the fur. I think it would have been best if they just left it with the base color and didn't do this dry brushing. It, especially under these lights here. Um, and just looking at the transition between the head and the neck, that doesn't look too good in my opinion. I hope it's showing up on camera. And on the legs as well, you can see we have this uh, orangey brown color and then it just transitions into this like peachy dry brush color going up into the body. But then again, I just noticed that under my lights on my review table here, so it may not be too much of a problem if you're not having it in a heavily lighted area. I do really like how the end of the legs are in a black color. I think that's a great addition. And you can see that the feet on the Macrocania are quite similar to those of a hippopotamus or a rhino rather than like a deer. They've got claws on the end of them. You can see there are three claws on each of the feet on both the front and back pairs. Also, there is a paint mistake with the transition of the color here. There is, of course, some smudging there and some really weird smudging going on with this little um, inlet of color going up from the underbelly color. But this part sticks up right in front of the leg and if we swap over to this side, you can see it's not there. There's like this part of a stripe that goes up in front of the hind leg on the left side and then on the right side it's not present. I'm not sure if that's just a mistake on my particular figure here, but Eh, it doesn't bother me too much just because I, I display it from this side. I think it looks better from this side personally, but um, on this side with all the smudged paint, it just detracts from the look in my opinion. On the front of the chest, we have some nice markings and this uh, extra stripe at the base of the neck. I think that looks pretty nice overall. There is some paint smudging there. 
Um, but when you're mass producing these, some mistakes are going to happen and I might have just gotten a more faulty figure as far as quality goes. I also like how the tiny tail on the back of the Macrocania here has the black color. I think that makes it stand out and it looks naturalistic as well. Now the head sculpt on this Macrocania is very nicely done. I love the way the head sculpt looks and the coloration here is beautiful as well, except for this gray paint on the top. You can see that that has been sort of sloppily placed on the top of the head and I wish that was either done better or they just didn't put the gray paint on there at all. But I think if they just put a little bit more care into applying that, from this side it doesn't look horrible, but, but from this side you can see some of the paint mishaps in the application there. But I adore the way the striping looks around the eye and the eye is done in a glossy black color. And that looks beautiful. I absolutely love that on both sides of the head. Just that black stripe running through with the white banding around the eye really makes it stand out. It looks beautiful. The ears are also very nicely sculpted with a white and gray color on the inside of each one, as you can see. And the end of the snout is done in a black color. And there you can see the taper-like mini trunk that Macrocania is known for. And the interior of the mouth if you can see in there, has some tiny teeth carved out, and those are painted actually, which is surprising, so hats off to you for fitting a paintbrush way in there, Safari. But yeah, I think the head is my favorite part of this entire sculpt. It just looks very nice overall. Now the color scheme on this Macrocania is gorgeous. I love the choice of colors they went for. I just wish there wasn't as many paint mishaps in certain areas, and I just don't understand this dry brushing with the peach color going down the body. Um, I just noticed that like just right before I started recording and I was like, wow, under these lights especially, that really sort of takes away from the look, especially when you look at the transition between the face and the neck there and the base of the legs and the uh, musculature in the shoulder area and the hip area. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really a fan of that. Sorry, Safari. But anyway, the main body consists of this orangey brown chestnut color. Then you have almost like this peach tan color dry brushed over part of the body, most of the neck and most of the actual torso of the animal. Then the underneath you have this cream color for the markings on the chest and for the underbelly. You have the white around the eye with the black banding and just the gray markings on the top of the head. Overall, I think what they were going for was great. I adore this color scheme. It is beautiful. I also like the black socks on the Macrocania here. I think that's a great addition. But for some reason, the actual application, maybe it's just on my particular figure here. I'm not sure if this spans across all of them, but the paint application in the front of this leg here, the gray paint on the head, some areas in the chest, and especially this peach color going down the body, that just really doesn't appeal to me overall. And the pose on this figure is nothing incredibly special. Just the Macrocania standing, looking proud, perhaps a lookout for his herd so that no sneaky terror birds try to sneak up and attack them. Alrighty, so why don't we give this figure a quick measure. So Marvin, why don't you bring out the ruler? Thank you, Marvin. Alrighty guys, we've got our trusty flexi ruler now, so let's give this Macrocania a measure. So in terms of length from the tip of the snout all the way to the tip of the tail, we are looking at about four and a half inches, which is about 12 centimeters. And in terms of the height at the highest point, which is the top of the ears on the Macrocania here, we are looking at about three and a half, three and three quarter inches, which is about nine centimeters. For comparison, I'd like to bring out my personal favorite of Safari LTD's new 2018 prehistoric mammals, and that, of course, is their American Mastodon. This figure is absolutely gorgeous. And then I'd also like to bring out the 2018 Safari LTD Mega Serops. I think all these mammal figures look very nice next to each other. I really like how the colors stand out on the Macrocania here. Alrighty guys, it's time for my overall rating on this figure, and I think that this brand new 2018 Safari LTD Macrocania deserves 3 stars out of 5. A good rating. I really would like to give this one an extra star, but just looking at this one close up, the paint application is just really off, in my opinion, in some areas, and I know I've sounded it's kind of negative in this review, but it's just a shame because I was really excited for this figure and I still think it's beautiful. It really is. The color scheme is absolutely gorgeous on this Macrocania. But once you get it in hand especially, I hope everything's showing up on camera okay. But I'm just not a fan of the dry brushing with that tannish peach color on the body. 
Of course, there is some smudging with the uh, underbelly and this weird stripe on the side here. And then, of course, the gray paint application on the face um, really detracts from the look of this figure, in my opinion. But overall, I think it's a good figure. It just is. It's very good. The sculpt is amazing. I love the details in the sculpt overall, and I adore the color patterning on the face, except for the little bit of gray smudged paint that's on the top there. Overall, Safari, I'm really happy you made a Macrokenia, and I think you did a good job. I just wish that the paint application was done a tiny bit better. But anyway, good job overall. Well, there we go, guys. That was today's look at the brand new Safari LTD 2018 Macrokenia. I think this figure is very nice overall for the sculpt and detail work. If you're a fan of prehistoric mammals and obscure ones at that, like the Macrokenia, and you want to get this figure, go to www.safariltd.com or go to amazon.com slash safariltd. And if you guys want to learn more about the hashtag Hawaii Safari campaign, go check out Safari LTD on Facebook and their other social media. So anyway guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel. Also leave a comment telling me what you think of this brand new Macrokenia figure. So thank you so much guys for watching, and as always I will see you in my next video. Take care, and bye bye <laughs>